hello dear students today we will discuss the next point in quantum free electron theory that is density of states so what do you mean by this density of states the density of states is defined as a mathematical function that gives us the possible energy quantum states per unit volume per unit energy of the electron inside a solid metal now in the figure you can see this is the energy level diagram so this is the fermi level now the energy range is in between e to e plus de at 0 kelvin so this fermi energy or the fermi level is the topmost collection of electrons at 0 kelvin and the corresponding energy is called as Fermi energy now below this Fermi energy all the energy levels are filled above this Fermi energy all the energy levels are vacant now the density of states is nothing but it is the energy levels or the density of the states between this energy level and this energy level a small unit energy and we are going to see how many number of density of states are there that is the reason we will define it as the possible energy quantum states per unit volume per unit volume per unit energy this is the per unit energy from this energy state to this energy state and we will see how many number of density of states are present inside a solid metal so this is how we will define the density of states so here the number of electrons per unit volume having energies between E1 and E2 is given by so the number of uh, uh, the number of electrons per unit volume having energy is between E1 and E2 is given by n of E de is equals to rho of E de into f of E where f of E we have already discussed it as Fermi factor okay here rho of E into d is called as the density of states so if you want to find out the total number of electrons per unit volume then you need to multiply the density of states into fermi factor so that is the reason the expression for density of states can be given by rho of e d is equals to 8 root 2 pi m raised to 3 by 2 divided by h cube e raised to 1 by 2 into d e so this is how we will define the density of states now we will go for a derivation which is expression for fermi energy at 0 kelvin so here we already defined the fermi energy the topmost collection of electrons at 0 kelvin is called as fermi level corresponding energy is called as fermi energy below the fermi energy or the fermi level all the electrons will be all the energy levels are filled with the electrons and the energy levels above fermi energy are vacant now the number of electrons per unit volume having energies between e and e plus de is given by so here our energy range is from e to e plus de and this energy range how many number of electrons are present per unit volume can be given by n of e d e is equals to rho of e d e into f of e rho of e is a density of states that we have discussed just now rho of e is the fermi factor which is a probability of getting an electron so rho of e can be given as thus f of e can be given like this these two already we have discussed so now at zero kelvin only energy levels up to Fermi energy are filled so at 0 Kelvin only the energy levels below Fermi energy are filled that is up to Fermi energy are filled above Fermi energy they will be vacant therefore at 0 Kelvin only energy levels up to Fermi energy are filled therefore f of e probability function will be 1 for energy levels less than Fermi energy now therefore the number of electrons per unit volume is given by 
number of electrons per unit volume can be given by this expression n is equals to integration from 0 to Fermi energy E f rho of E d e is equals to since f of e is equals to 1 it will become only rho of e into d e this is equals to integration from 0 to E f rho of e equation this we are going to substitute here so this expression we are going to integrate so in this we will take out the common terms 8 root 2 pi m raised to 3 by 2 divided by h cube and we will integrate only e raised to 1 by 2 from limit 0 to e f into d e so here when we integrate it e raised to 1 by 2 we will be getting 2 by 3 e f raised to 3 by 2 this e is going to be e f because our limit is fermi energy then we want the expression for fermi energy so we will just keep this term and remaining all the terms we will send it on the other side so we will be having e f raised to 3 by 2 is equals to this 3 h cube will be sending it on this side 3 h cube into n divided by 8 into 2 16 pi raised to uh, uh, into uh, root 2 m raised to 3 by 2 right so this is going to be the expression e f but we want only e f this is e f raised to 3 by 2 this we will take it as 2 by 3 so when you simplify this term we will just take 1 divided by 16 root 2 raised to 2 by 3 1 divided by 16 root 2 h cube divided by m raised to 3 by 2 h cube divided by m raised to 3 by 2 raised to 2 by 3 and 3n divided by pi raised to 2 by 3 so when you simplify this term when you simplify this term you will be getting it as 1 divided by 8 when you simplify this term you will be getting it as h square divided by m and when you simplify this term it will remain as it is 3 n divided by pi raised to 2 by 3 now rearranging these terms e f is equal to h square divided by 8 m 3 by pi raised to 2 by 3 into n raised to 2 by 3 which means your fermi energy is dependent on the Planck's constant mass of an electron and the number of free electrons all right so, if we substitute all these constant values and simplify, we will get this value as 5.85 into 10 to the power of minus 38. So, the Fermi energy expression can also be written as 5.85 into 10 to the power of minus 38 into n raised to 2 by 3 in terms of joules. So, this is the expression for Fermi energy at 0 Kelvin. Thank you.